My name is Maura McLaughlin, and I'm a professor of physics and astronomy at West Virginia University. I've been in West Virginia now for 13 years, um, and in that time have been at WVU and spending a lot of time at Green Bank in West Virginia, where we are right now, doing research and kind of outreach and education programs here with students. So it's been a really good move, and it's a really kind of special place to live and be a radio astronomer. It's the best telescope in the world, really, for studying pulsars. So I think outreach is super important for a lot of different reasons. I think first of all, it's just our responsibility. So this Nanograd program, which stands for the North American Nanohertz Observatory for Gravitational Waves, is funded by the National Science Foundation, and that's ultimately taxpayer dollars. And so we really owe it to the public, you know, to let them know like what we're doing and why it's important and make sure they get some benefit from it. Um, we also have a very selfish motive for outreach in that we really want the GPT to continue to be funded for as long as possible. It's a really important instrument to our research. It's really important to WVU's program. And so we always want to be getting the word out to people about how important it is so they can put pressure on the government you know, to continue funding it. Um, outreach is also just a lot of fun. So we have a program, which we're here at Green Bank for right now, called the Pulsar Search Collaboratory. And this program has been going on 11 years now. Um, and we involve students, high school students and middle school students, in analyzing data from the GBT. I'm actually looking for pulsars, trying to discover pulsars in the data. And this has been really fun. Um, the students have made discoveries. They've found seven new pulsars so far, which is really fantastic. Um, they come here for a camp every summer. We learn all about radio astronomy and just kind of like the nature of science and scientific inquiry. They also have a lot of fun. You know, they go to the pool and we go hiking and bike riding around the site. And I just think it's so important to give students the opportunity to actually like interact with real scientists um, and see what it's like to be a scientist. And we've seen a lot of kids go through the program and then come to WVU as undergraduate students. Some of them are in graduate school now. Some of them are astronomers in grad school. Most of them aren't. Lots of them go into medicine or engineering or other fields, but we hope that the camp and just exposing them to the research just gives them an insight into you know, science and technology that just broadens their horizons um, and encourages them to keep a, a lifelong interest in it.